Welcome to the video lecture course on microelectronic circuits. In this lecture, we will derive the relationship between drain current ID and drain to source voltage VDS. First, let us analyze various voltages and currents in the MOSFET device. Number 1. Gate to source voltage VGS. The gate to source voltage VGS is defined as the voltage applied between gate and source terminal of the MOSFET. Number 2. Drain to source voltage VDS. The drain to source voltage VDS is defined as the voltage applied between drain and source terminal of the MOSFET. Number 3. Gate to drain voltage VGD. The gate to drain voltage VGD is defined as the voltage that exists between gate and drain terminal of the MOSFET device. And number 4. Drain current ID. The drain current ID is the current that flows from drain terminal to source terminal of the MOSFET is called as drain current. Now, to derive the mathematical relationship for the drain current that relates drain to source voltage and gate to source voltage, we split the derivation into two parts, namely drain current equation in the diode region, number two, drain current equation in the saturation region. First, let us consider an n-channel enhancement transistor operating in the triode region. The condition to operate the n-mos enhancement transistor in the triode region is as follows. Number 1. The gate to source voltage or VGS must be greater than the threshold voltage Vt. This criteria causes an induced channel connecting drain and source region. Number 2. The gate to drain voltage VGD must be greater than the threshold voltage Vt or equivalently the drain to source voltage must be lesser than the excess gate voltage or overdrive voltage or VGS minus Vt. This case causes the channel to acquire tapered shape as shown in this figure. Also recall that the gate and channel region of the MOSFET forms a parallel plate capacitor wherein which the oxide layer serves as a dielectric. If we denote the capacitance per unit gate area as COX and oxide thickness as TOX, then COX is given by epsilon OX by TOX, where epsilon OX is the permittivity of the silicon dioxide. The permittivity of the silicon dioxide is the product of relative permittivity of the silicon dioxide and the absolute permittivity, that is, epsilon OX equals epsilon r into epsilon naught where epsilon r equals 3.9 for silicon therefore epsilon ox equals 3.9 times epsilon naught if we substitute the value of epsilon r then epsilon naught becomes 8.854 into 10 to the power of minus 12 and overall epsilon ox becomes 3.45 into 10 to the power of minus 11 farad per meter. As an example, let us consider the oxide thickness to be equal to 10 nanometer. Therefore, capacitance per unit gate area equals 3.45 into 10 to the power of minus 3 farad per meter square. Converting into farad per micrometer square, that is, multiplying and dividing by epsilon ox by 10 to the power of minus 12 we get capacitance per unit gate area as 3.45 femtofarad per micrometer square which is usually expressed unit from the figure shown here consider an infinitesimally small strip in the gate region at a distance x from the source the capacitance of this strip may be obtained by multiplying capacitance per unit gate area COX by the area of the strip W into DX where W is the width of the channel. To find the charge stored on this infinitesimal strip, first we calculate the effective voltage between the gate and channel at point X. That is dV equals VGS minus VFX minus VT which is nothing but threshold voltage, where Vfx is the 
voltage in the channel at point X. Next, the electron charge on the infinitesimal strip dQ is equal to capacitance times dV. Since capacitance C is equal to dQ by dV, therefore dQ is equal to minus COx W into dx into Vgs minus V of x minus Vt. The negative charge here accounts for the electron charge. The voltage Vds produces an electric field along the channel in the negative x direction. That is, E of x is equal to minus dV of x by dx since electric field equals voltage by distance. The electric field E of x causes the electron's charge dQ to drift toward the drain with a velocity dx by dt since velocity equals distance by time. The relationship between velocity and electric field E is given by the expression velocity equals dx by dt which is equivalent to the minus mu n times E of x. Substituting the electric field expression velocity becomes equal to mu n into dv of x by dx where mu n is the mobility of electrons in the channel. The mobility depends upon the fabrication technology. The drift current resulting is given by I is equal to dq by dt. This current equation can be rewritten as I is equal to dq by dx into dx by dt. That is, we have multiplied and divided current equation by dx in order to relate the current and distance. Substituting the expressions for dq by dx and dx by dt obtained earlier, the expression resulting will be as follows. I is equal to minus mu n COx times the width of the channel that is multiplied with dv which is equal to Vgs minus V of x minus Vt and dv of x by dx. In this equation, the current I that results due to the flow of electrons is from source to drain. Conventionally, the direction of electron flow and current direction will be opposite of each other. If we denote I as the electron flow from source to drain, ID as the current flow from drain to source, then ID will be equal to minus I. Then ID is given by ID is equal to mu n into COx W into Vgs minus V of x minus Vt into dV of x by dx. Cross multiplying, we get ID into dx which is equal to mu n COx W times the dV and that is multiplied with dV of x. Integrating left hand side from 0 to L that is length varies from 0 to L and also integrating RHS right hand side from 0 to VDS since VFX varies from 0 to VDS. So we get the final expression for the drain current in the triode region as ID which is equal to mu n into COx times W by L into VGS minus VT minus half of VDS square where W by L is called as aspect ratio and mu n into COx is denoted as process tech transconductance parameter which is determined by the process technology. Next, we will derive the expression for the drain current in saturation region. In saturation region, we know that the condition Vds equals Vgs minus Vt. So Vds is equal to Vgs minus Vt is the minimum value of drain to source saturation current in the saturation region. Substituting this equation Vds is equal to Vgs minus Vt in the uh, triode region diode current drain current then we can obtain the expression for a drain current in saturation region which is equal to half of mu n into COx into W by L into Vgs minus Vt the whole square. If we observe drain current equation in triode region we can say that Id depends upon Vgs and 
VDS. That is, ID is a function of VGS and VDS. Further observing drain current equation in the saturation region, we can say that the drain current depends on gate source voltage and is independent of VDS since VDS term is missing in this equation. The MOSFET transconductance is denoted by alternative notation which is equal to K and dash which is mu n into COX. Therefore, the final equation for drain current in triode and saturation region can be written in terms of K and dash as shown here. So, ID is equal to K and dash times W by L into VGS minus VT times VDS minus half of VDS square. So, this is the drain current in triode region. Similarly, drain current in saturation region can be rewritten as ID is equal to half of K and dash into W by L into VGS minus VT the whole square. If you look back into the technology advancement, the state of the heart mass technology in 2003 is as follows. Mass technology is 0.13 micrometer. Minimum channel length is 0.13 micrometer which is same as mass technology. Minimum channel width is equals 0.16 micrometer and oxide thickness is 0.2 uh, nanometer is the mass technology as of 2000. Now, let us solve an example to get familiar with drain current equations. In this problem, the given data is as follows. The minimum channel length L equals 0.4 micrometer and TOX oxide thickness which is given as 8 nanometer and mobility mu n is given as 450 centimeter square per volt second and threshold voltage of the MOSFET is given as 0.7 volt. In section A, we need to calculate capacitance per unit gate area and K and dash, which is equal to mu n into COX. In section B, the W by L of the MOSFET is given as 8 micrometer by 0.8 micrometer. Here we need to calculate the values of over drive voltage, gate source voltage and minimum drain source voltage needed to operate the transistor in the saturation region with a drain current ID equals 100 microampere. In section C, for the device that is operating in saturation region, that means we need to take same values. We need to find out the values for over drive voltage and gate source voltage required to cause the device to operate as a 1000 ohm resistance for a very small VDS. Now let us solve this problem by taking each section at a time. We know that capacitance per unit gate area is given as epsilon OX by TOX. Epsilon OX is the permittivity of silicon dioxide which we already know the value as 3.45 into 10 to the power of minus 11 and oxide thickness is given as 8 nanometer. So if you substitute in this formula, we get COX or capacitance per unit gate area as 4.32 into 10 to the power of minus 3 farad per meter square. However, we need to express this in farad per micrometer square. If you can multiply this answer with 10 to the power of minus 12 and divide by 10 to the power of minus 12, we can express this in farad per micrometer square. So, after expressing this in farad per micrometer square, we have obtained 4.32 farad femtofarad per micrometer square. In section A, to find out the value of K and dash, we use a formula mu n into COX, where mu n is given as 450 centimeter square per volt second and COX already we calculated as 4.32 femtofarad per micrometer square. Again, you can observe here, the mobility is given in centimeter square per volt second we need to convert this into micrometer square per volt second. So here we multiply and divide with 10 to the power of minus 8 so that we obtain 450 into 10 to the power of 8 micrometer square per, by volt second and the, uh, the COX is kept as it is.
So simplifying this, we obtain as 194 into 10 to the power of minus 6 farad per volt second. So finally, so K and dash will be 194 micro ampere per volt square. In section B, as in the problem, it says the device operates in the saturation region. We'll use saturation current equation. ID is equal to 1 by 2 K and dash times W by L into VGS minus VT the whole square. So here we can substitute the values which are given. The drain current is given as 100 microampere and uh, K and dash already we calculated which it is 194. W by L is given 8 by 0.8 micrometer and the unknown values is VGS gate source voltage and threshold voltage is given as 0 0.7 volt. If you substitute all these things, then we can calculate VGS as 1.02 volts. And to calculate drain source voltage minimum, VDS minimum, we can know already the expression VGS minus VT. So VGS substituting for VGS and VT, we get minimum drain source voltage as 0 0.32 volts. In section C, the VDS is saying it, it is going to be very small. So we can make use of uh, the diode uh, drain current equation in the triode region and approximating that the half of VD of VD square that eliminates. So we get approximate drain equation as K and dash into W by L into VGS minus VT times VDS. So from this we can calculate the ratio of VDS by ID which is equal to RDS per small value of VDS. Uh, again, this becomes equal to 1 by K and dash W by L into VGS minus VT. Substituting all the values, RDS as 1000 ohm, K and dash 194 into 10 to the power of minus 6 and W by L uh, which is equals uh, 10 uh, into VGS minus uh, VT which is as 0 0.7. So we get uh, VGS as 1.22 volts. So this problem is uh, required for you to fam get familiar with drain current equations. Next we will discuss the structure of the structure and as well as characteristics of the P-channel MOSFET. A P-channel enhancement type MOSFET or shortly PMOS transistor is fabricated on the N-type substrate where P plus regions forms the source and as well as drain regions. In P channel MOSFET, holes are the majority charge carriers. The operation of the P channel MOSFET is similar to that of N channel MOSFET except that the gate to source voltage, drain to source voltage and threshold voltage are negative. The drain current in the PMOS enters the source terminal and leaves through the drain terminal as shown here. NMOS devices can be made smaller, operates faster and requires lower supply voltages compared to PMOS devices. Typically, the threshold voltage of the PMOS device is minus 1 volt. As we have dis discussed for the case of NMOS, when VGS equals VT, channel formation just takes place. The same thing applies even here too. When VGS minus VDS exactly equals threshold voltage, pinch up will start in this case. For example, when VGS is equal to minus 3 volt and VDS equals minus 2 volt, then VGS minus VDS equals minus 1 volt, so which is equivalent to the threshold voltage of the PMOS device. At this point, pinch up of the PMOS device starts up. The ID versus VDS characteristics for constant VGS for the P-channel MOSFET device is as shown in this figure. As we understood the working of NMOS and PMOS, further we will analyze the working principle of the complementary MOS or uh, the CMOS device. As the name implies, the complementary MOS technology employs MOS transistors of both polarities that is NMOS and as well as the PMOS. Here we can observe that the PMOS is fabricated in a 
n well n well and n type substrate both are same and n mos is fabricated in the p type substrate this figure shows the cross section of a cmos chip illustrating how the p mos and n mos transistors are fabricated we can also observe that while n mos transistor is implemented directly in the p type substrate and the p mos transistor is fabricated in specially created n region known as the n well now let us discuss the mosfet operation in the sub threshold region so far we know that the mosfet conducts for vgs greater than vt but here for vgs less than vt n channel mosfet do not conduct that is id should be equal to 0 for the n channel mosfet for vgs less than vt but this fact is not going to be true for vgs less than vt and if it is close to the threshold voltage the drain current exist but this drain current is going to be very small this particular region is called as sub threshold region in this sub threshold region the drain current is proportional to the exponential of gate source voltage this case is similar to the collector current and base emitter voltage relation of the pjt this ends the lecture on derivation of drain current and drain to source voltage relationship in the next lecture we will we shall discuss the current voltage characteristics of the mosfet device thank you